Back to school used to mean back to the never ending paper piles, letters from school, reminders from teachers, the list goes on. But as we move toward a more digital world, now there's a new problem, the digital overload. It's hard to keep track, isn't it, of all of it? So today, family tech expert Sarah Kimmel is here to share tools to organize all of that digital communication. You are speaking to me, sister. <laughs> this started to pile in quick, and I feel like the transition was quick, like from paper to digital. It seems like in the last few years, it's just the storm has taken over. Well, the pandemic really kind of pushed that over the edge mm. to completely digital. Everything's going online, so all the communication, everything is online. Yeah, my inbox is a mess, so yes. I need you. I need your words. Your first tip is to add your school's calendar to your own calendar. Yeah, so a lot of people don't realize that their school publishes a digital cam calendar on their website and there's usually a little link that you can add to your own Google Calendar or whatever calendar system you use and you can keep track of days off, what's going on at the school in that digital calendar. Such a time saver too because I'm aware of the digital calendar. I did not know I could just add it with a click of a button so I'm going in manually and putting yeah. in holidays and breaks right. and early outs. Yeah, you don't want to do Why that. Why am I doing I, that? Don't do that. Oh Just my gosh. put it on your digital calendar. So I've see, I see the whole thing right on my phone. And since it's a separate calendar, I can toggle that off so I can not see all of the stuff all the time uh -huh. and I can just see my own appointments but when I need to see that I can just click it on and there it all is. So you'll see it's the check mark you'll see it a certain color this is a school right. calendar I can yes. check or uncheck. Check or okay. uncheck and then your your calendar cleans up a lot especially when you get into like junior high and high school yeah. when there's everything on sure, that calendar. Sure I don't need to know about band practice exactly. when I don't have a child in band. Right. Um, Sarah's so kind I would feel stupid asking these questions but you're just very gracious in your responses so thanks in advance for that. You want us to create book marks to Canvas parent portals. Yeah, so Canvas and whatever kind of parent portal your school has. So Canvas, most kids are using that for mm -hmm. their classrooms. Mm -hmm. They've got their assignments, they turn in their assignments on that. So create a bookmark to the Canvas parent portal because a lot of people don't actually understand that you can follow your kids on Canvas as well. I had no idea. Right, and so when you can see that there's something due next week and you're like, hey, Make sure you get this done uh -huh. and you can see what their grades are on those assignments and you can really keep track of everything they've got going on in Canvas. And different districts can offer different tools, understandably, but do you feel like these tools are worth learning and using? For sure. So Alpine School District and I know I think Jordan School District, most of the schools around here use Skyward. And Skyward is where you can see their schedule, you can see their current grades, you can see all of the um, notifications. So you're getting a bunch of emails. Mm -hmm. Those emails are coming through Skyward. And if you go into Skyward, they're all right there. Okay, so can I pick and choose what is coming into my inbox? Yeah, so most of the notifications you can turn on or off. So, okay. And especially with Canvas, there is a list of notifications about this long of things you can toggle on and off. You can toggle on that there's assignments due or you can toggle on when something's been graded and things like that. So mm -hmm. you really can pick and choose what kind of notifications you're getting because it can get overwhelming. Yeah, because there's the swing side of it where it's like I, I'm getting overloaded. I still want to be in the know, but right. I don't need emails that I don't need. So exactly. we have a little more control than maybe we think we do. Yeah, so if you toggle off that notification, you're not getting the email, but when you want to check up on it, you can log gotcha. on to the portal and check it out. Gotcha. All right, you want us to create shared tasks lists. Yeah, so I use an app called TickTick, Tick, but there's tons of different to-do list apps where you can share a specific list with your children. So, you know, if my daughter who's in high school will add stuff to her task list, if it's shared with me, I can see exactly what she's got working on. So she's saying homework due today right. or whatever. Yeah, you know, or like, or I need to go to the office for this, you know, and she's writing all of this in her task list, but I can kind of keep tabs on what she's got on her task list so I can follow up, hey, um, I noticed that you put this on there, but you're not doing it. So uh -huh. when are you gonna get to that? Or like needs, I would imagine. I need right. this for this class. Exactly. And mom can say next time at the grocery store, Right. So you yeah. like Tick Tick. I love Tick Tick. Okay. There's just so many things in Tick Tick that you can really add, which has a Pomodoro timer. So, you know, you got 20 minutes to work on something and then you take a break. You know, my daughter really responds to that kind of timer. Mm -hmm. So if they're working on a task, you can set that Pomodoro timer. And then when the task is over, you know, that timer clicks off. And all right, like Sarah, thank you so much. Where can we get more family tech advice from you? I'm family tech on all social media platforms. So check me out on Instagram, YouTube, all of the above. We will. We'll connect you from our website too. Thank you again. Thanks.